everyone. We are back aboard Usonia. This is a 1990 uh, 32-foot Loris Tournament sport fish, and today's activity will be uh, removing the starter motor off the port engine. We need to uh, send that for a rebuild or rebuild it ourselves. Not sure which that's going to be, uh, but today we're just going to take it off of the engine, and uh, so Dad's going to walk us through what's happening there, and we'll get started. As usual, step one will be to remove the Ugg boots because we don't put those in the engine compartment. So we are here in the engine compartment with our Marine Power 454 engines. And uh, we are today going to be working on this starter motor. So uh, Dad, if you want to give us a little explanation of uh, what this is, it's this black and silver thing that I'm looking at here. Um, give us a little explanation of what that is and why we're doing this today. It's the black and silver thing there. That's... <laughs> the black and silver thing. Yeah. The black and silver thing. It's, it's the thing right in the middle of the camera there. Okay. <laughs> During the past season, we've had a couple of times when we started the engine to get that lovely metal-to-metal -metal grinding sound where the uh, Bendix drive is not pulling into the uh, flywheel properly. And it's uh, prior to chewing up the uh, flywheel, we want to uh, have this starter motor rebuilt. So that's the intent to do today. I think we're just going to get it out and probably send it out to be re rebuilt. It's the easiest way to do it and make sure it's done right. So all we have to do is we have to get back, there's two bolts that hold it onto the engine, plus a series of wires uh, that connect it to the battery and to the ignition switch. So we're going to get in there and we're going to undo it. Now we're trying to determine whether we need to take off this piece of exhaust pipe here for access. We probably can do it without, without taking this off. I don't know. Maybe we'll attempt to do it first and then see how that goes and if it doesn't then we'll take the uh, the exhaust off. All right, so here we go with attempt number one, leaving exhaust pipe on. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so just for a better look, I'm going to see if I can get in here. The, uh, the bolt that we are going for is the one that is right below that oil filter there. Um, and then there is a corresponding one that is beneath under here. I'm not entirely sure if you can see it in this shot. Um, and then the other two things that we need to take off are this red wire that goes back to the batteries and the orange and yellow wires. The red and orange will come off together and the yellow is a separate deal. So we'll also be undoing those bolts there. Um, pro tip, since these go to the batteries and you don't want to zap yourself uh, disconnecting your batteries, super great idea. In fact, I highly recommend it. So next up, we are revisiting our trusty toolkit, and we are going to figure out which wrench we need to get this job done. So I'm going to do a little bit of sizing here. All right, so first thing we're going for is uh, this bolt here. As you can tell, I brought my um, mechanic working manicure with me, so uh, I don't know if that's going to last. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Um... Okay, wow. Yeah, this is like not a great angle to get in here. You want, you want to get a real wrench? Uh, I think I might need to. Okay. All right. So after much trial and error, it turns out that what we need is an 11 sixteenths. Um, and so now we have loosened this enough. Go the other way. Go the other way. <laughs> I have to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why you don't sit behind what you're doing. Okay, now we got a little, little washer here. Washer. That's not there, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon my toes. <laughs> now we made sure that the uh, power was off, the battery switches are turned off. Uh, but now that we're gonna have a loose wire here with a no connection on it, and it may sit still a little bit, uh, we're gonna tape up this uh, connection just to make sure that if it ever touches any ground or somebody switches a switch on or something like that, we don't have sparks and fire and all that little kind of good stuff. I'm not going to shock myself, though. Yeah. No, okay. no, no, you'll be all right now. But I'm just saying, cause if somebody should turn on a switch later on. Okay. okay. Copy that. So then this just comes out just of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a, the orange one will come off behind it. Can I just put this anywhere? Yeah, put it anywhere. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Now we have the yellow one. Now the yellow one... Yellow one looks like it's the same size. Is it, um, is it on a wake or It's. Or it comes underneath here. Uh, it. Uh, that 
might be a plug. Yeah, I think that's yes, a plug. Yes, it's a plug. Okay, turn okay. off. Turn yes off. So the next thing that we need to do is get this little yellow wire off of this tiny little bolt here, which is proving difficult because the bolt is super tiny to begin with, and it's really hard to get anything to get a grip on there. Um, so we may pause on that and go over here and try to get to the two main bolts that are holding this starter motor in. Okay, and so there you have it, a one starter motor ready to be rebuilt, and uh, we will get that, I guess, sent out for professional help, and uh, some professional help will be needed here. <laughs> Thanks for watching.